Is, is, uh, is Ryan here? Oh. Right there. No, right there. Oh, nice. This is off. Uh, lane 5 is going to go 850s. Everybody else is going 650s. You're swimming easy to the first cones. You're sprinting the middle. And then easy after the second cone. If you look underwater, you can see the cone. Trevor, where are your paddles? In Tucson. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Crush it with abs. Boom. Ready? suggestion rest I can't do that uh, what time is it 756 all right Not Five pace felt great. I'm literally just drenched, so I miss the desert. And then now, I'm just gonna get some recovery and have a quality bike workout on the trainer, probably inside in a few hours. But Two good sessions done before 8.30. It's pretty good. So now we're in Florida, and what are you doing here? How long are you here for? And then the yeah. plan after that. Yeah, yeah, I'm in uh, like Central Florida, like Claremont, Orlando right now um, with a few friends, my two good friends, like Stu and Ray. They race age group racing. Uh, basically here to pick up my girlfriend, Sophie, because uh, we're moving out to Tucson. Um, so 
basically flew back here after all those races and going to load up her car and drive west on I-10 for like three days. And yeah, move out to Tucson and just continue training with Lionel and trying to yeah, get better. Tucson's a great place to train. Uh, my friend Ben's out there. We have a great little group. Uh, summer's going to be pretty hot. I don't think it's going to be mis as miserable as this. Like, it's humid. That's going to be hot. So I think I'd rather deal with the heat than like 100% humidity. Yeah. And then race-wise, what's the plan for the next like month or so? Yeah, just going into like basically trying to get the Tucson like ASAP just so I can start getting back into a routine, back getting quality sessions with Lionel. Um, and yeah, build up a good like four week block into 70.3 Oregon and then uh, the PTO US Open in August. And yeah, I, I'd love to try to try to get a win this year um, or another podium. So Oregon, I know it's like a downriver swim, so it's like obviously super easy. Uh, no, unfortunately for well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for everyone else. Um, and and then yeah, then Milwaukee got the invite to go race at the US Open. I got I raced there last year and kind of like folded like under the pressure and ended up dropping out a little bit into the bike just. I think I was so nervous and anxious before they were like leading up to the race so I literally just like felt terrible during the whole race or the hour I participated and so yeah I'd like to try to go back there and uh just try to be somewhat competitive you know obviously training with Lionel he's probably one of the favorites so I have a very good benchmark of where I need to be if I want to be competitive in like the top 15 or so I'd be pretty stoked so yeah that's basically the the next like six weeks is that what it looks like and then kind of reevaluate the season after that probably just continue racing um the north american 70.3s i don't think i'm going to do 70.3 worlds um I'm signed up qualified but it's like a big travel so i don't i don't know i don't think i really want to go all the way out there it's expensive and yeah and i feel like the u.s open is like good enough or if not better so and it's like a five hour plane ride away, so. Key to success right here. Dino knows. Pretty good. At the tour. He had Michael Morkov, maybe the Oatmeal. best lead-out man in the business. The Yogurt. field that year was that great. And I think about Red those Red two things when I consider the tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, so yeah, it's like I haven't had breakfast. It's like breakfast. Uh, it's like breakfast, uh, breakfast lunch. Off the page and say, We're going to go on the 35th stage of the Tour de France for our for us. Well, you should be doing this and you can be doing this. And I think I realized probably through exposure that like I hadn't spent any time outside. So, so what are you doing right now? Man, I sat down for like 15 minutes. Made a nice workout in Zwift on the computer. I got on the TV. It's gone. It's not there. So it's supposed to be like tempo with uh, like sprints within the tempo. It's kind of hard to do it, like lap it and stuff without the workout, so I'll probably just do some tempo. I just did like 40 minutes, kind of warm up. And now I'm just going to do like 10 minutes, like easy, and then get into like probably two by 20 minutes tempo. Nothing hard, anywhere from like 300 to 350. It's a very big range, but I do a lot of my training on like RPE. So let's see how I feel. I'm indoors. I don't love indoors, but I got you, I got soap. So it's okay. It does not heal. So I got another MRI. Go real quick, bite TV, and then we'll head to the gym. 
four, two, we'll see how we go. Rolling on the bottom, 11 seconds. Maybe like one percent, but like no. Like poor just, man's altitude. No. no. Yeah, it's poor, poor. But it has poor. some benefit. No. Poor people don't win <laughs> Ironmans, bro. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Pay to win. Um, I don't know. I, I said that to myself for twenty three years until I went to a nice place to train, and I was like, yeah, this is. It's what people tell themselves because they're just stuck here. So you're not going to be miserable. You're just going to tell yourself, oh, I'm getting stronger. And it's like, no, you're not. You're just killing yourself. <laughs> like, you're literally taking years off your life. <laughs> nah, Gulf Coast was like a very rude awakening. And now I'm just like stuck in it. I've definitely gotten better in the last, well, no, I was in Boulder for three weeks. It's like 50. It's like, when you head back to Arizona, you think you're going to train more in the mornings instead of the heat in the afternoons? Yeah, but super early, because, like, first light, it's, like, 4.45, so... What time you'll wake up? Probably, like, 4.45, and then it's try to get out the door by, like, 5.15. But Owen and I were riding at, like, 5.30 last summer for, like, workouts. But, like, if I look at the weather right now, like, it's not bad. Like, at 5 a.m., it's 75. 6 a.m., 75. 7 a.m., 81. So it goes up 6 degrees in one hour. But, yeah, now I just get ready for Oregon. Milwaukee. T minus how long? Three, 22 days to Oregon. Because I feel like whenever you get into a sport, I get into a sport now. And I like triathlon, so. Yeah, and now we blow all our money on bikes. So it's like, ah, <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, uh, running was like so cheap and easy. It was. Looking back now. Yeah, and like traveling to a meet, like we would just get there the day before and do a 35 minute run and some 200s and just race the next day and go home. Now it's like a full fiasco. Yeah. It's like half my life savings every time too. <laughs> so, like, sucks. How long did it take you to get your bike back? Five days uh, or so. Yeah, yeah I landed Sunday and I got it back Thursday. Mm. So. At least you got it back. Well I had to drive to the airport and get it because they said it was going to be like a five day business wait if I wanted it delivered. Which is insane. But Well, you got it back. I got it back. Thanks. And not Lopez. broken. It wasn't broken. If anyone wants to buy a Cervelo P five disc brake Tram Force E Tap, it's for sale. DM me. But cool. Yeah, I think that's good. Bye bye. Ha <laughs> ha